Marie-Sophie Germain was born in Paris, France on April 1st, 1776. Marie was unfortunately not the only Marie in her family. Her mother and sister also shared the name. This created a lot of confusion. Hey, what's up, Marie? Oh, hey! Uh, here, her. No, like Marie-Sophie. The streets of Paris were unsafe due to the revolution, so Sophie remained inside studying. Unfortunately, during this time period, women of affluent families were expected to be intelligent enough to talk, but not smart enough to challenge the world around them. Sophie's parents were becoming increasingly unhappy with Sophie's addiction to mathematics. Hey Sophie, we're, we're gonna go shopping, you wanna come with us? Yo, what's up Sophie? Yo, you wanna go paint your nails or something, dog? Mom's dead. When Germaine wrote to fellow mathematicians, even after she gained a reputation in Paris, she feared that they would not take her seriously because of her gender. In order to protect herself, Germaine resorted to her pseudoname, citing letters as, pardon my French, Monsieur Leblanc. Here's my final theory of elasticity. Sincerely. <coughs> Monsieur Leblanc. <laughs> In order to gain respect from her fellow mathematicians, Germaine dressed up as a man due to the sexism of the 1800s. As you can see by this picture, it doesn't seem like she had to do much. Even after her immense efforts to be known as a man, today she is regarded as the princess of mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.